Despite the optimism, and as with so much of urban planning of the era, the mall didn't work. Even with the addition later in the 60s of six parking structures, downtown Santa Monica continued to decline as a retail destination. There was, however, starting in the 60s, an uptick in large commercial projects, including several developed by band leader Lawrence Welk. The most prominent Welk development was the General Telephone Building, now known as 100 Wilshire the tallest building in Santa Monica. It was designed by Cesar Pelli and clearly recalls the modern sensibility. Personally, I don't believe buildings this big, it has a floor to area ratio of 14. We typically work in like three and four. <laughs> uh, have a place in cities that don't have subways, but at least the GTE building, in my view, is a handsome building. There are, however, many people in Santa Monica who hate it because of its height and dominant position overlooking Palisades Park and the ocean. The GTE building was one part of a block of high-rise modern buildings on ocean from Wilshire, Arizona, that Lawrence Well developed that effectively destroyed the strolling potential of that side of Ocean Avenue, potentially one of the best strolling streets in America. This picture is of his Champaign Towers across the street from Palisades Park. It wasn't necessarily the height of these buildings or their modern architecture that destroyed this potential, but the anti-urban ideology that held, contrary to all evidence, that people prefer to stroll by planters rather than past storefronts and cafes. <laughs> the Ocean Avenue high-rises weren't the only bad urbanism built during this period. There are numerous office buildings in the five and six-story range from the 60s and 70s that, typical for the period, do their best to coldly separate the building from the street. Like this particularly stark example, a Darth Vader-like black reflective glass building on the southwest corner of 6th and Broadway with its original landscaping of palm trees and box in boxes. There are numerous similar examples in downtown Santa Monica, particularly along Wilshire and the north side of Santa Monica Boulevard. I'm sure that the designers of these buildings all had been to Italy and all believed that their landscape plazas would be as congenial as little piazzas in Rome, but context is key. 